Hello and good morning, everyone. Welcome to the fourth annual Booms Birthday Bash. I'm your host, Mr. Boomstick XL, and no, it is today is not officially my birthday. That is on Sunday, ladies and gentlemen. We're here today, and I say we, Mrs. Boomstick and I are here uh, to give away $500 worth of digital prizes. That's $10, $50 gift cards to your, your choice, whether it be Xbox, whether it be uh, PlayStation or Nintendo eShop. And again, folks, if you win and you're outside of the country, we will use PayPal to get you your prize money. We will pay all transfer fees and, and, uh, and all denomination differences from currency. So you don't have to worry about that. Uh, again, 10 prizes. Five have already been picked. And I'm going to read those names because the way we're doing it and the way that Mrs. Boomstick thought it was fair to do was to take the first five prizes and have the people and the gamers that drop Super Chats on a regular basis that are, and, and, or, and are channel members. Uh, cha that, again, uh, we appreciate we're near 100 channel members, which is bonkers to have that many on such a small channel. Uh, and she thought that we we want to give back to everyone, and if we wish we can have a thousand uh, dollar you know prize each and every month. We, we just can't. So when we do these big uh, big events, we want to put the folks that support us that allow us to do these big big giveaways up front. So the first five prizes I will read once we get some more people in here. Um, and again, these are all people that drop Super Chats and also are channel members. The other five winners are going to be randomly picked once again by the picker for just simply being in the chat. But, folks, we don't have a lot of topics today. We have specifically maybe two, maybe three. But there is one that is going to take up a significant amount of time, and that is the interview with Satya Nadala yesterday that literally broke the internet. I have everything he had to say specifically written down. I, I transcribed everything he said in an interview that I thought was worthy of the conversation. We are expecting to have more people here. Uh, I, 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 I sent the link to King David. I don't know if he's going to be able to make it because he does work at night. But if he can get here, he will. I also sent it to Umbra. I sent it to a whole bunch of other people. Anyone that wants to jump in, they have the link. Just jump in. No invite necessary. But let's let's get into the panel that's already here. And we're going to start first with Web Dave, who, of course, is here first and foremost every time. Web Dave, how are you feeling, brother? Great uh -huh. interview with Gaz, man. That was Thanks, fantastic. Man. Thank you very much. It was definitely a fire, and the sauce was all over the place. It was, oh, it yeah. was awesome. It was awesome. <laughs> but man, I'm I'm really fired about today, and I'm I'm dumping in these uh, uh, in chat as best as I can uh, today because we're getting a lot of uh, good super chats already. So, yes. but I do thank you for being for letting me be here and for uh, and for this amazing show. Uh, I mean, there's so much. I mean, it's so great uh, that you're that you're doing what you're doing to give back to the community. And um, and we appreciate everybody that's here. And let's get into it, man. Yeah, well, thank you for being here. And, of course, thank you for the compliment. Uh, next up, uh, Dreadpool. What's going on, brother? And more importantly, what have you had for breakfast? Uh, not much. Good morning, everyone. I, I did. Okay, we're going we're gonna to change this up. Um, what I did is I took a croissant, sliced it in half, put some cheese on it. And I'm going to tell you right now, the best cheese is not American. Okay. Okay. It's not cheddar, although I love cheddar. It's Gouda because it has really? a low melting point. Hmm. Gouda really? melts very well, and it's good and tasty, too. And if you want smoked Gouda, you can get smoked Gouda. But what I do is I have a panini press. Oh, very and nice. So what I, I, I freeze, and I know it's a bad thing, but I freeze it just so this way it stays colder and, and actually can actually crisp up. So what nice. I do is... Um, put that in the panini press and press it and just let the weight of itself just weigh it down into a nice little uh, probably good uh, three quarters of an inch and by that time the cheese is all melty inside uh, the outside's all nice and toasty it's already buttered I mean it's a croissant and it's nice and flaky cheesy so Sounds good tasty. Mm, so good but yes uh, just uh, your little cooking lesson here and uh, playing some <laughs> video games I, um, 
haven't been able to get into it, but I, I downloaded um, Deathloop. I started uh, Wulong last week, but I didn't even get into the game. Uh, and uh, we we ended up playing a horror game that ended up uh, getting me stuck somewhere for about an hour. So we ended up playing Halo instead. <laughs> okay. No, so, I mean, yeah, listen. Thanks for the community, man. Not, so. Nothing wrong. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I, I've uh, I've I got to the end of the Wulong demo myself. The boss is ridiculous, uh, re- really ridiculous. Um, yeah. But it's a game I feel is going to have long legs and even longer that it's an Xbox Game Pass day and date. Uh, the uh, the I've I've been playing the Modern Warfare Two beta. My God, ladies and gentlemen, I, I I'm officially like looking forward to this because I haven't been a COD player since the 360 days. Like it's just never been my bag. And the, the, I don't know, what am I playing? Is it Domination, where you have a, just a giant group versus a giant group? I think that's what it is. It is so much fun. Uh, I want to try the third-person mosh pit mode, which I don't know. I didn't see it there because I know it's playing in third-person, which is bonkers. And like I said, I was saying that hmm. Sony should do a SOCOM. That's I, a SOCOM, think, right? That's yeah, SOCOM. I, 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 th- I think the Thunder has been stolen by <laughs> Call of Duty, which is going to be a- Xbox first party. I'm sorry to laugh. I'm not laughing at anyone. It I'm just saying so that. So, COD? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it absolutely is. But listen, uh, let's welcome in our guest over here, Crazy Lou Gaming, all the way from the Dominican Republic. What's going on, brother? How you feeling? Oh, man, I'm feeling really, really, really excited with this bomb that jumped by yesterday, man. That was huge news, and boom, happy to be here and happy to see that you're giving back to the community, man. We're going to have such a great, fantastic show. Let's get to it. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, uh, let's see, uh, Fuzzy Belvedere, how you feeling, dude? What's, What's been going on? Well, I'm I'm doing great. Just glad to be here with you guys, and you know, happy early birthday, and Thank you, thanks sir. for everybody that uh, is coming out to join us today. But man, oh man, Satya, getting in, uh, getting in some jabs there, man. Hard Ooh. to ignore what exactly happened. Like look, when Phil comes out, well, Phil's the head of Xbox, uh, you know, Microsoft Gaming. Mm-hmm. Phil, you know, Sarah Bond comes out, Aaron Greenberg, Larry Herb, anybody from there. They're like, yeah, you know, they're, they're, they're carrying the flag. They're doing the thing. But when Satya Nadal comes out and says what he said, and we will go over what he said, not only does this one man uh, have the power to change stock prices, which if you looked yesterday, the market for Microsoft went right up because he spoke with confidence. Uh, some people will say that it might be. So I've heard some people mutter the other words. Oh, look, at look how arrogant he is because he knows, you know. I don't think that's arrogant. I, I think what he knows is Sony is full of shit, pardon my French, uh, <laughs> and that the the crying from Jim Ryan or the crying Jim Ryan dance moves, whatever it is, he has a very lo- he has even a longer name now than Phil Spencer, <laughs> which is crazy. Um, but uh, all, all, all of the the uh, the crocodile tears and 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 the fake uh, you know uh, you know what you know what isms that that are coming out of the Sony camp to try and do anything to slow down this monster deal is uh, is is pathetic. Honestly, I, I I think uh Gaz actually said it yesterday, which I sat down with him, and he specifically said um, he doesn't remember a time when uh, Sony looked as weak as they have. And I, I have to a thousand percent agree with him there. It is uh, it, it's hard to look at the market leader that has been th- that in that position for nearly a decade, going back three generations all the way back to the PS3. And, and they were no slouch in the PS1 and PlayStation 2 era. Right. So mm-hmm. it's hard to imagine uh, that this dominant force is now crying about one franchise and we know why they're crying but it's i'm gonna be honest with you folks it's quite embarrassing but crispy you jumped in today really at the nick of time because you like again it's it's like the stars seem to always align when sony puts their when they when they step in it or put their foot in the mouth you have a lot to say i can't wait to talk to you brother what's been going on Oh, I'm doing very well, and uh, I've had a lot of good laughs this morning. A lot of a lot of tears coming from the Sony camp, and 
uh it's it's pretty pathetic you, you guys need to stop drinking that pond water bro like seriously yeah, yeah. you know you, you are you are saying stuff that makes absolutely zero sense and you know i got the receipts so thank you for the receipts we'll bring this up next year it's okay gotcha but yeah we'll get into it yeah you know what before we uh we actually get, actually get into the topics uh i got i mean super chats so much coming in first one of uh awful grim bones drops a two dollar super chat says good morning boom and panel another fire show thank you so much for that uh tim the sorcerer has been a member for two months drops a two pound super chat and says happy birthday bash mr and mrs boom from holland well thank you kindly sir um we also have another super chat from awful grim bones of two dollars says had to be live for the birthday bash boom well thank you so much for that it's great to have you casket repair who's been a member for over 18 months says uh boom wishing you many years of health and happiness thank you for all you do thank you it's very kind of you to say and i'll be 52 on sunday that's right 52 pickup remember that when he used to throw the cards on the floor yes I, I i never did that to anyone it was done to me uh sith lord who's been a member for two months, drops an outstanding super sticker of $1.50, and it is a slice of cake. And listen, uh, I don't know if they have Valencia in uh, DR, uh, but I uh, that is a Spanish-made uh, birthday cake with the piña and the cream, and I cannot wait because that is that, that that's big here in New York. Uh, and uh, my wife has been having that since she was a kid. I had it since I was a kid. Now, yes, that's the kind of cake I'm having. And I can't wait. Uh, and I guess, I, you know what? I, I'm a, a healthy 210 pounds, still doing Pilates. So I'm going to have an extra slice of cake, God damn it! Uh, <laughs> but listen, real quick. Shooter, 28.53. Wow, he drops an outstanding and redonkulous $20 super chat. It says, hey, birthday boy, happy birthday to the old man of gaming. My 50s is a distant memory, but mate... Uh, have a great show and uh, a better Sunday, 52. Wow, yeah, thank you so much for that. Uh, definitely appreciate the, the compliment, but also the very the awesome generosity. Sith Lord uh, got, drops an outstanding $2 super chat and says, uh, happy birthday to a man, hero, husband, and man of the community. That's very kind of you to say, brother. Thank you so much for that. We also have Game Players HUD Zero, who's been a member for six months and uh, and uh, actually 12 months and says Satya came this week like if they want war we'll give them war <laughs> competition breeds greatness hashtag stay awesome thank you so much for that Tune, uh, Tom from Toonami uh, drops an outstanding $2 super chat and says morning all I uh, hope you are all doing well thank you for that and Brigaders Blue drops a $5 super chat and says happy early birthday boom hope that you have an amazing birthday this year thank you very much sir uh, Paul Drew, who's been a member for two months, drops an outstanding 450 super chat, four pound and fi 450 pound super chat. And he says, I'm loving the show. Well, Paul, thank you for the compliment. Thank you for the generosity. And of course, thank you for being here. And we have Double K24, who's been a member for a year as well. Wow. Uh, actually, no, he's been a member for 16 months and says, Happy birthday, boom. Hope you enjoy your day. Thank you so much. And Game Players Hut Zero drops an additional. Two dollars super chat and says happy level up day boom 52 uh earned you a summon yeah indeed it has but listen folks we got to talk about a smaller story that i think has monster relevance to what is currently going on folks and it has been reported that the little old uh, xbox brand that has no footprint or thumbprint to some in japan has once again, ladies and gentlemen, outdone the PlayStation in Japan. That's right, folks. If you can believe it, well, yes, that has happened once again. And you know what? It is, uh, it, it is shocking. It is. Uh, I'm going to read the numbers now. Now, now the, the the this tweet comes from <laughs> John Welfare of Twitter. It's Welfare underscore JBP, like in Paul. He posted this yesterday, and he says Famitsu Wave, which is the number one selling Japanese uh, magazine and publication for video game news in and entertainment for decades, folks. I was, I was, I was back in the days when I was a kid. I was importing uh, Famitsu Wave magazines. Now I couldn't read anything because I don't read Japanese, but I was, I would, I would get a look at the pictures because you know that's that's all you could do. Well, folks, check it out. 
From its Wave reports, Xbox outsold PlayStation 5 last week in Japan again. This would be due to the price increase on the PlayStation 5 and a 5,000 yen promo on the Xbox Series S at the same time. Now, here are the numbers, ladies and gentlemen. The Series S sold 13,211 uh, units. That's in one week, folks. That is the most Xbox sales in any one time in the history of them being in Japan. The Series X, much, much lower, 866, because again, that's a big boy console, and the Japanese market, they, they like their stuff compact. The Series S, because of the, I mean, again, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, 20 years ago, they were a console-based market. People would stand online for two days to get the new, the new whatever, right? The new PlayStation, the new Nintendo, whatever. They have, they have changed their, their ways of gaming. They do, I mean, like I said, I don't know how many people see this in their, uh, their social media feeds. I get at least ten a day of people showing, hey, from Japan and the Asian region, we just got our Series S. We're so, we're so excited. They show it. it. It's, it's, it's a phenomenon, and I, I think it's going to continue. The PlayStation. Folks, sold, and I say only when you compare it to the Series S, 8,739. That's that's a that's a stark difference from 13,211. And we we will, you know, we'll go right into this. Uh, and we'll start first with Crispy. Crispy, is this a changing of the guard? Again, it's it, they're not going to take over Japan. They're not going to you know be number one in that region. I don't think ever. But I think that they this proves that they even even right now they are making strides to be better in that region. What are your thoughts? I mean, let's be honest. You know, Microsoft finally said enough's enough. We're actually going to take Japan seriously. So here you go, people, and you know. The Tokyo Game Show clearly did something for the the Japanese market and even the Asian market. So I'm I'm sure as as things trickle down, you know, South Korea, other areas like that are gonna you're gonna see a bump in in sales. And you know, really, it's just getting the name out there, everything else, and they're looking, you know, for the cell phone users as well. You know, and that's the beauty of it. You you go and buy this console, you have it at home, but then you can go and play on the go, which they love doing in the asian market so it, it's it's just logical you know the games i mean like i we, we talked about tokyo game show a few weeks ago and i'll tell you like a lot of people that are into jrpgs are absolutely loving what they're seeing from xbox and i think that's showing right now and also sony you know treating them like a secondhand market being like oh you got to pay 550 now you know or or whatever it it translates in in their region so I mean, it's just them just doing what they want to do and Microsoft saying enough's enough. We're actually going to be in this market and do the right thing. Now, are they ever going to either of them ever going to touch switch? I doubt it, but you never know. I mean, you could look at it as, you know, they're going after a different market in a way than the switch is. Switch is still trying to sell their console, which is a mobile console. Xbox is, is trying to sell you a service in a way. So I think that service is showing its value very easily, especially with your major competitor, Sony, doing almost what it seems the exact opposite. So I think it's just a trend that's going to continue, at least as far as PlayStation versus Xbox. Like we all know, the Switch is going to kill as usual. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I, I think the Switch is, uh, you know, it, it is what it is. It's a behemoth. You know, it's yes, is it an underpowered console? But you can't argue the games that they come out with look amazing. Uh, and, and you know what? What what could you say? Sony is, uh, you know, and and you know what's interesting. And I'm I'm gonna go next to Crazy Lou on this. What's interesting is there was a report Lou from last year where Japanese gamers felt as if Sony had abandoned the community. Remember, they moved their headquarters out of Japan to the U.S., right? Um, and the games that were coming out were not focused on that region like they were back in the days. 
is what happened is it and again this isn't this isn't like oh you know like oh my god they, they beat them one week my microsoft's series s has out being been out selling the playstation 5 quite a few times this year it's not by accident by any stretch of the truth do you see a change happening in that region specifically the whole asian market when you look at what microsoft is offering not just so much with the console, but the way other the other ways to play through cloud, through streaming. What do you what are your thoughts, Crazy Lou? Um, I'll be honest with you. Yes, there has been a lot of change. I mean, before we didn't have um, JRPGs and stuff as much as we we do now in, in Xbox. I mean, look at how things have changed, and uh, we also are getting on two D fighters, um, like for example, Guilty Gear, which they were mentioned um, in the Tokyo Game Show. We're getting what's the other one? Cross. I forgot the name of that one because I always get it confused. Cross something that's also coming to Game Pass. We got all that stuff moving on, and not only that. The good thing about the Series S, I mean, and we we've seen that Japan is a city that it also it, people are always out of their homes because they usually live like in really small rooms. A bunch of people live yep. like in really small rooms, and so a Series S with the screen mounted on top. What's the screen called? Which is a really good screen. Oh, I forgot the X screen. The X screen, yes. yes. Series S with an X screen in, in, in a small compact home fits nice and perfectly. I mean, the PS5, it is, it's a big, big yeah. mama jamma, you know, it's mo big. Mo <laughs> most people actually hide it behind their TVs. Mrs. <laughs> Boom was like, that thing's egregious. Yeah. I, I don't like the way it looks. Get it out of here. So I, I want to buy a new piece of furniture, and it's like literally underneath, and it, it takes up an entire shelf unit all by itself. It's massive, yeah. Yeah, but in the end of the day, I'm happy that Microsoft is actually delivering those Japanese games that people love and want. Yep. Look at look, Nino Kuni is on Xbox, which is uh, which uh, uh, Phil Spencer huge. was playing. He posted it the other day. Yes. I'm playing it right now. That that game, I I gotta be honest with you, I've never played the, the, that 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 IP before. I cannot believe how gorgeous that game looks. Like yes. it's, like you're playing literally an anime. It's it's bonkers. Yes, yes, that's amazing, and they and there's and they are delivering what we want, and it's getting better and better. And the market keeps on opening more, and they're not playing. They're gonna keep on pushing and keep on going. They're not playing, and they're they're demonstrating it and showing it to us. I'm really happy and excited to see what more will come. Yeah, I agree. Uh, and you know, shout out to Master Jazz 9 who's been a been here for for many many years since we started the channel. He says, personally, I don't know. I kind of thought Xbox should give up on Japan and just embrace it as a Western console. And I, you know what? That's a lot of people thought that. But I'm actually glad that they didn't because I don't know how. I mean, you know, Phil Spencer, and this is how you know they're going to invest. This is how you know their next acquisition is Japan. He specifically mentioned there are hmm. 1.7 billion gamers here. In, Japan, in the Asian market, how do you abandon that many gamers? Like, yeah, you know, we lost, so f it. No, I, I think I think what they're doing is the right way. Shout out to Ice Cold, who's a new member, as well as Saint Reborn three eleven. Thank you, gentlemen. Appreciate that very much. Yep. Uh, and of course, that gets you into the running. Uh, and like I said, not just this contest. We have another five hundred dollar contest coming in November. And a 1,000K giveaway that's coming in December. So for the next couple of months, we're giving away $2,000 worth of digital prizes. And, you know, you're a channel member. You get a bonus entry. Uh, and, 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 again, moving forward, what we're going to do is we're going to split uh, the, the, the winnings in half. And we're going to give channel members and people that drop Super Chats uh, – first dibs on the first half of prizes again that comes away of mrs boomstick she thought about it last night she says you know we got to do something to get to to make sure that the folks that constantly support us know that we are um thinking of them and i'm not saying that we don't think of everyone for you know how we, we do the content everyone is is welcome here this is one big house and you're all welcome to come and put your feet up on the uh, you know on the uh on the tables but we we gotta we gotta do it fair, and I think the fair, and I think she's one hundred percent right. Half of all prizes will go to channel members first, as well as people that drop super chats. And and again, the pick the picker is the one that does it. I I just she throws the names in, she types away, we throw the names in, and the picker picks it, and here we are. Um, but good stuff, Buzzy. Let's get your opinion on this. 
Does mm-hmm. Microsoft have a shot in Japan? It, it's definitely uh, you know moving in the right direction as far as the overall number of sales in comparison, especially compared to the last generation. I think they've already outdone the seven or eight years of the Xbox One in like the first two years uh, as we speak right now. But I think the big thing now is everybody was you know making fun of those that were saying you know Sony raising the price is not a good look. Why do you care? It's not in your region. Blah 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 and. Now we see in one of the regions where the price is raised, you know, they're taking a, a, a bit of a hit, especially considering, you know, Microsoft is like, oh, well, they, they raised the price. Well, we're going to lower the price by the same amount that they raised the price. And, you know, it, it definitely drove home the message that they're they're trying their best to compete in that region. And, yeah, they're not going to, you know, knock Nintendo off the top spot, not not for a long time, not without some some major changes. But in, in the grand scheme of things, any, you know, growth in that region is is a big plus, especially considering, you know, the efforts that, um, you know, Phil and, and Sarah Bond have been making with a lot of the developers out there. We're getting more of the games that would have never touched the Xbox One generation. We're now getting in you know, either in Game Pass or at least in the, the Microsoft Store, which is is a, a, a big step up from last gen, like I said. But uh, yeah, it, it, the numbers are very encouraging. I would say if they continue on this path and, and you know, we're, we're going to get more into the, you know, if this is about competition, let's compete type of thing later. But I, I, I think this shows the show that, you know, they had the right idea by sticking within that, that region and not abandoning it. And, and looking at how Sony has kind of, you know, moved their headquarters, they they did the whole flip flop on the X and O buttons, which is like a, a no no for that you know, was, Japanese. And tradition. they still haven't fixed it, by the way. Yeah. So it's it's just one of those things where, you know, eventually, you know, people in that region are going to, you know, start looking elsewhere. If you, if you, it doesn't feel like you're catering to that region or that customer base, that customer base is going to look for other options. And you know, right now. The, the Series S is a much more uh, a reasonably priced option, and it seems like it's readily available. So it, it's like a win-win at that point. And, you know, hopefully they continue to make strides in that region. You know, doing more of the same, and and even working towards getting, you know, either more studios or more deals with dev teams and things out there. So we'll, we'll yeah, see. You know, no, you know, you know, be, you know, be interesting to know. I mean, we're looking at the console side of things. Mm-hmm. But we they don't mention the Game Pass and how it's growth on Japan. You know, that, that's something we, we, we should we should it would be interesting to know how much it has grown in mm-hmm. total. Because we know that we're talking about consoles, but like I said, Japan is a city where people move a lot. You know, they travel, they move and stuff, and they play more handheld, I think, than ever. That's why the Switch always outsells over there. Game Pass, I imagine how Game Pass is doing though. It's gotta be doing great. That's gotta have a massive growth over there. Oh, yeah. They did say that. It, it, they- they did oh, say that they're uh, what was it double, triple, and quadruple their numbers, depending on which yeah. numbers you're looking at. They're um, they're doing massively over there when it comes to Game Pass and, and cloud gaming. And that's what they want. That's they what they want. Yeah, actually, Sarah Bond actually confirmed that they doubled up the numbers. So you're 100 percent right, uh, uh, Dread. Yeah, yeah, you know what? Speaking of Dread, let's get your opinion on this. Listen, Japan. You know, again, there are a lot of folks in the market. That think, hey, Xbox, well, you failed. You've been failing for years. Eh, chalk it up as a big another another big L. But I I, I beg to differ. I I I think that you don't give up uh, a, an entire region that dons 1.7 billion players just because you didn't win your first three tries. Uh, and and you know, obviously, you know, in the 360, they did make some headroom with games like Lost Odyssey, which I think they should remake, and I think that would be a big deal. I think that they should, re, you know, do an HD remaster or or remake or even continue Blue Dragon. I think there's a lot of things they can do. Uh, the fact that they made this monster partnership, the fact that you see Phil Spencer with his arm around uh, Kojima at his studio in Japan during the Tokyo Game Show moves a lot of big needles, in my opinion. Uh, is this, uh, you know... Uh, number game that we're talking about but you know regarding microsoft almost doubling up sony in japan and again it's just a week folks it's not every week it's not every month but this is happening more often than not dread uh, is this a good sign for xbox 
Oh, it's a great sign. I mean, um, what was it? How many years ago was it when Xbox One X sold one in one month over there? Uh, so, I mean, when you look at that that number, anything, if they sold two, that's, that's a 200%. You know what I mean? It's, it's like anything that they do is definitely an upward trend. This is even more, um, not really surprising, but it is it is a, a better direction that they are showing that they're doing that versus others like like we said where they moved out of their own country they um basically uh uh what's, what's the word they concentrated more on the u.s market than they did their own country so you don't think they feel a little bit alienated i know i would if microsoft left and you know xbox went somewhere else and they only gave us a few thousand while they, they gave everybody else in Europe. I'd be like, what's going on here? Like, what's, what's, what's up with this? You know? So no matter whether, you know, you know, as a fan, I'd, I'd feel alienated, you know, and then the other issues. So, um, yeah, I, I think it's a good thing. It's, a, it's definitely going to be an upward trend. It's, it's always going to go up higher. There's, uh, concentration now that you know that we're uh, we're hearing that they're you know we've known that they wanted a, a japanese studio for a long time um the partnerships that they're getting right now the the games that they're bringing that even though some of them are old i understand they're five years plus um you know in age that everybody else has already played but it, guess what you know for the fans that can't get over there and play you know on the playstation side or nintendo side for whatever their reasons are you know, this, this is a plus, you know, they're, you're, you're getting those games, you know, and I'm not a big R, uh, JRPG fan, but I am still a, a fan of JRPGs, uh, just not as big as others, you know, so seeing some of the stuff come back and, and get it to other gamers is, is a plus, you know, and then at the same time, if it's on cloud, you know, we've already mentioned they like handhelds, uh, the, the go-to, places is anything that's portable uh, you know? the logitech device was announced and i got it pre-ordered yeah. happy early birthday for me because i i'm getting that bad boy i don't have i don't have a, a steam deck that's just too technical for me but this looks like it might be right up my alley and that's exactly something that could sell i wish yeah. it was cheaper i wish it was cheaper right. for that region because 300 dollars is a switch technically um and uh you know we'll see what happens M maybe if this thing sells well Microsoft makes their own, which could be, you know, dropped out at 200 bucks, especially that it's only, uh, you know, it's only cloud based. It doesn't have any real storage on the console. So, I mean, but you're, you're definitely, so, you're definitely yeah. onto something. And then that's the thing, right? Uh, with the pricing is it, it's on sale right now. So if you're going to buy it, buy it now. Yep. It's still over, even on sale, it's overpriced, but it's going to go up another 50 bucks after, after the pre-order, which I think is September, 20, uh, I'm sorry, October 20th. I, th I can't it launches I said the seventeenth. It comes out. So 17th. October 17th, okay, so, yeah. So after that, the price will go up in a, another fifty bucks. So, but when you look at it, um, you should, you know, if it's for you, bonus, get that. But you know, yet again, this is another device that somebody over there uh, or anywhere, basically, not just Japanese. It doesn't have to be a Japanese market. Um, but anywhere, you know, if it's a device that you could use it for your benefit. I mean, we talked about that with with um, uh, 4G QTV, you know, families buying it for their kids or, or, or relatives that come over. Here you go. It's it's you know, you don't have to be on the main TV while we're watching the football game. You know, a little one can go, go over there and play, you know, the, the games that you want on the cloud or Game Pass if you have Game Pass. So, you know, stuff like that apply that to the Japanese market yet again, you know, with game pass and the cloud and everything that they're doing is, is not just focused for us. It's focused for the world. So it's going to benefit them, which in turn, you know, you got to be, you know, your corporation, your greedy benefits the corporation. Right. So it, you know, in essence, you, you do something good like that, you get back. So, you, you know, it's, it's not, you don't do it for free. You do it because, it gives you something back too, even though you do it for free. So it's it's all in goodwill that you get goodwill returned. So when they do something like that, that's you know it, it's prime example. We we're seeing that that the numbers are going up. You know the the S's are 
are, are, are slamming when it comes to what they're selling. Yeah. So, no, no. Yeah. I mean, it, 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 I mean, great, great point. They are selling uh, like hotcakes over there. And, and again, if you look at all the games that recently came, they might be five years old, right? They might be four years old. Heck, they might even be six years old. But you know something? They're games that Xbox gamers haven't played. And there are there are some games there that people will enjoy so much that they'll play through it again on another platform. And on a platform, they don't actually have to go out and spend the money. They just yeah. have to be a part of Game Pass. And that's the beauty of it is you can yeah. play anywhere. You can play on your console. You can play on your phone. You can play on the uh, the new Logitech uh, G device. Yep. You know, you, you, you can play on your TV, right? That's the whole mentality of this. So it gets you. So like, And that's the main thing is you don't know where you're playing, but you know, you're, you know that this person is an active user. And that's yet again with the whole family plan, right? The, the same thing, right? If this is coming out, they're going to be doubling up too, just like we all are. So, one hundred percent. It's 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 a it's bonuses and pluses, and, and you you can't beat these pros with any cons when it comes to that. You know, I mean, I just downloaded Nino Cooney um, the other day. Also, that's yet again another one of those games that I'm going to try to play and, and see if I like it. I'm being told, you know, seeing that I like Blue Dragon, I should like this. And I'm like, all right, cool, you know. And that's, right, I wouldn't have normally played it because I, I'm looking for the bigger names that I know that, I, you know, like Final Fantasy. Where is that? Hmm, it's blocked from us. But these older games that everybody else has played, I'm now looking forward to. You know, I'm hearing good news again about some of these games. Good reviews, good. And this is not from the reviewers, Right. Not the, the, those so-called reviewers from people in the community that I trust, like you, like Dave, like Fuzzy, Crispy, uh, even Louie. When he's, he talks about whatever he does in the shower, those games are like, OK, maybe that's a game that I play from the shower. But <laughs> I mean, listen, I miss, the, I mean, I miss those videos. Yeah, just, yeah just those, those videos are those there are funny. wacky, but uh, listen, uh, <laughs> I mean, fa absolutely fantastic points, Dre. We, we're going to come back to this because obviously we want to get the Web Dave's opinion, and then we're going to get into the big topic because I think the big topic is going to take ninety minutes to handle. We got almost <laughs> five hundred people here already. I will get to the super chats that uh, that Web Dave is kindly uh, is putting into the chat. So thank you so much <laughs> for that, Web, Web Dave. Speaking of which. What are your thoughts on the push in Japan? I mean, do you agree that they should have just abandoned it? Or do you like the progress that's being shown? Even small still counts. Yeah, they should never abandon Japan, period. It's yeah. pretty much where gaming started, if it comes down to it, as far as, you know, the evolution and, and how, you know, the Nintendo and Sega and, you know, <clears throat> all these great companies, you know, it, it's... Uh, no, it should never be abandoned, first and foremost. The growth is phenomenal, and it's fantastic. And I, for one, appreciate the fact that they are doubling down, going, you know, back at it, not giving up the ghost. You know, they could have been like, you know, eh, it's a wash. We don't do good in Japan. Let's just focus on other areas. They are focusing everywhere. And that is the way you get to your uh, 3 billion gamers is that you reach out to everybody in every market, everywhere yep. around the everybody world. Everybody counts. And they do. We we all do. You know, unlike, you know, some of uh, their competitors who, you know, we're going to we're going to have all kinds of, uh, you know, exclusives on our system, but you should have exclusives on yours because that's uh, that's not right. Yeah, well, tough titty is what you always say there but yes uh, uh, and the great uh, the, the 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 great words of the uh late richard Pryor. <laughs> yeah that's right tough titty said the kid anyway but yeah it's uh it's it is awesome it is it is uh it is definitely where they need to be like lou said too i was gonna make that point lou good job um uh, that uh the game pass growing like it is i mean oh my goodness because there are people out there, you know, that talk about systems being big, talk about this and that, but they're on the move a lot. You know, that's, that's, they're, they're really, they're becoming more and more mobile. This new device, uh, you know, some people are saying the price is too high. I, you know what? I, I don't care. I, I don't think it's too high for the simple fact that I want it and I'm willing to pay for it. And I've got mine, you know, on order too, because it is dedicated. Like you said, it's easy. You just, Put in your code to, to Game Pass, you're in. Not only that, but out of the box, it is also going to be able to access uh, your your system. So in other words, if you're at home and you're on your Wi-Fi, 
if you have like digital games, you know, like I have the uh, Elden Ring digitally on my system, I can actually play it in that handheld through the you know through the console, but on my handheld. So, if my wife's watching TV. I can be playing Elden Ring. You know, even though it's not on a game pass, it's not on this and that. This device does it, and it does it out of the box. He already said it's going to work. If you have, and you can also download stuff. So, if say for example, if you have. Uh, you know, some other things uh, like uh, Google Play and stuff like that. You can put that on there, too, as well. So it's it's going to be it's a great device. But that also, I mean, even though the sales numbers is what we're talking about, it's the it's the participation in the overall system, in the ecosystem. You know, so it's like Microsoft is growing that leaps and bounds. And, yes, it's fantastic that their numbers are growing over there. And I think they're going to continue to grow. They really I think they really are because at some point there'll be people that you know, kind of a wash with their, their PlayStation. They've got PlayStation, especially next year when the tables are going to be turned, when Sony may not have quite as many big hits coming out. I mean, they'll still have some, but they may not have as many first-party games. And then <laughs> Microsoft has, oh, I don't know, seven big first-party games, you know, coming out. Not to At mention least, one of the and that doesn't biggest count games the second party and third-party stuff. Yeah, Starfield mm-hmm. coming. Once that's there and they can say... Wait, I just have to get into Game Pass, and I can play this amazing game. Hello, yeah. yeah. If the Good future stuff. is bright for Xbox, I'm um, yeah. Next subject, let's go. <laughs> no, no, absolutely. Let's uh, first of all, let's uh, let's welcome in. We have again almost 500 Super people here. Chance. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. We are on the march to 12k. We'd love to try and hit that by the end of the year. We don't know if we will. But we're going to give it the old Kyle's effort. This has been a very successful year for the channel. We had 10K in July. I mean, um, 10K in January. And then uh, in the summer, we hit 11K. And, um, you know, we want to keep growing. We want to keep bringing new people in. Uh, you know, if you want to do me a favor and you want to put this out there on the socials, let people know about Double Barrel Gaming. It'd be greatly appreciated. Yep. As well as let people know that we are live so they could potentially not only win one of the prizes, the fact that they can actually get a, a, a you know a channel that does stream five days a week that's new i'll be announcing the artwork has been done and delivered by ben kenobi of twitter who is an outstanding <laughs> and ridiculous artist uh will be i'll be announcing the new show name for mondays and of course both crispy i mean crispy both web dave and fuzzy belvedere are permanent panel members for that new show that is meant to be a bite size show for you 70 80 minutes we get you in two three topics we're in we're out uh and it starts your week off uh, and and thankfully microsoft likes to drop news on monday so we have been very lucky lately but uh five days a week monday through friday and uh listen we're one of the few channels that actually does that and turns around and gives back to the community as much as we do and we're very proud that we do that because you know, we would not be a channel without the community, and we are incredibly humbled by the, you know, the success and the support that we get. But I want to announce the first five winners, Ooh, and these Ooh. are reach out to me on DMs. We will get you. Tell me Xbox, uh, uh, PlayStation, Nintendo eShop. If you're outside of the United States, you gotta let me know in that DM. Say, hey, boom, I'm here in this region. I would like, uh, you know, get, you know, we'll send you the money through PayPal um, or Zelle. We can even use that because that's that's also very that's you know protected. Uh, these are your five winners: uh, Sith Lord, Tempest Sun, Lethal Papa, Awful Grim, and Gerald Mack. You guys are all proud owners of fifty dollars gift cards, courtesy of thank you very much for that dave courtesy of mrs boomstick and myself for the fourth annual uh, uh, you know booms birthday bash uh reach out to me in dm let me know where you want those uh, cards to uh just a heads up today's a very busy day i gotta go check on mom when i'm done with the show uh i will get you those cards either tonight or definitely tomorrow check your dms i'll let you know when i'm sending it over usually i just take a picture with the card You'll get them. I, I will have all cards doled out by tomorrow afternoon. Uh, so just give everyone a heads up. I, you know, if you win, I'm not going to forget about you. Trust me when I tell you. But I got to catch up with some of these super chats, and my God, there has been quite a few of them. Uh, mm-hmm. Big Mad Mo, and you know what's funny? I used to type Big Bad Mo, 
back in the days. So I actually yeah. read it and I'm like, that's big yeah. mad mo. That, that's <laughs> what I am get I doing? Around, I get it wrong too all the time. <laughs> it's it's crazy. Mad. Well, big, big, mad. big, big, big mad, mad mo. Thank yeah. you for being a channel member for six months of here comes the boom. He says, happy birthday. Boom. Here's to many more. Thank you for that. JC Carla Moreau drops an outstanding $2 super chat and says, happy 52nd. May the CMA grant you. <laughs> Your birthday wish soon, and I think they're gonna have no no <laughs> choice but to bend the knee. We have Cr Wimpy who drops an outstanding ten dollar super chat and says, "Happy birthday to the most wholesome person in the business." Thank you. It's very kind of you to say. Love your content and hope you are doing well. Thank you. Yes, we are doing well here, and I appreciate the generosity. But of course, the compliment is really worth its weight in gold. Texas or East Texas, Alex, who's been. Of a, a huge supporter for years, drops an outstanding ten dollars super chat and says, "Good morning, everyone. Just wanted to say happy birthday and thank you very much for being such a great and positive person in the gaming community. Thank you. That's very kind of you to say. And may God bless you with many more birthdays. Yes, indeed. I got a, I got as le- a last until at least I'm ninety because that at that point I'll have made the NYPD pay over forty years of a pension. That's what you want to do. You want to make those MFers pay." And I, I and that's why I stay. I do Pilates and I check. I go to my physicals every year. Actually, I go to two physicals because I was down at 9/11 for 46 days. I spent at Ground Zero, so a lot of people got sick down there because the air wasn't healthy. So trust me, I check it. But I go for two physicals a year just because of that. Uh, Tim the Sorcerer, who's been a channel member for two months, that's a two do- two pounds super chat, says, "Why not make the vent?" Uh, the vent of the little man red in Japan. Uh, that's dope. I love that. That would be freaking mm. awesome if they made the the circle the Japanese uh, you know symbol. That would be that's kind of dope. I like that. Uh, Chaos Might, who's been a member for six months, drops a two a two dollars super chat and says, "Let the competition begin. Go Team Green, indeed." Black Helmet Man, what's going on, brother? He's been wow. He's been a channel member for a year. Thank you for that. He drops a two two dollars super chat and says. Looks like the Tokyo Game Show presentation was a success. Indeed, it was. Andy Hart, who's been a member for two months, drops a five-pound super chat and says, Happy birthday for Sunday, boom. Have a great one. Also, Satya pulling no punches. He he shut. He just uh, 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 he, sh- he should just pull Call of Duty off of uh, the Sony platform. I think what they're doing is the right thing. I think that you give them a three-year deal. You come back to the bargaining table in, you know, when that deal is up, and then you you take a look at the playing field and you see what, what's what what's Sony doing, you know that you know because I I think it's this once this deal is done because it's going to get done it's going to humble Sony. So Sony may not be able to be as as arrogant as they once were because well they're no longer the bully, uh the you know the the, the little skinny uh, nerd that was sitting in the corner that got picked on, just went to the gym for six months and got cock deep. And just came into the it came into the in, into the playground and beat down the bully, and now his boot is on their neck, and and that's that's what that is what's happening, uh you know to, to make small of it. Uh, Chaos Might, who's been a member for six months, thank you for that, brother. He drops a two dollars super chat says happy birthday, boom. Hope you have a great weekend. Yes, I am because my my wife's sisters and my awesome nephew are going to be staying over the whole weekend. I can't wait. Big family affair. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, Saint Reborn 311 has been... Okay, I said that before. Him and Ice Cold have become channel members. That's awesome. Um, Helleva has become always been a channel member for, wow, man, 13 months. And says, here comes a happy birthday, boom. Thank you so much for that. Uh, we also have... Uh, oh, wow. Ice Cold has uh, been a channel member for a month. Just gifted. Five double barrel gaming memberships. Wow, dude, that is incredibly kind of you. Thank you so much for that. I didn't even know you can do that, to be honest with you. See, this is I, yes. I, I didn't even know you can do that. That's crazy. See, I'm That's new. Let, let me interject on this one. Yes, you can you, you can uh, purchase and gift uh, memberships, but you also have to go to this channel, go on mm-hmm. the Booms channel here, and select that you accept the memberships if it's oh. gifted to you. Thank you, and sir. Then See, it'll auto gift it. Oh, man. It'll, it'll auto gift it to whoever YouTube just generates to whoever. So it'll it'll pop it up there. So everybody, make sure you um, any channels you support, make, you know that that can do it. Auto you know, accept the auto gifting for it. 
Thank you. Well, thank you for that because I had literally no idea. Uh, game. Uh, we have Game Pass Weekly. Who jumps at two dollars? Who Jen says happy birthday? Boom! Stay young, keep gaming. Indeed, Isaac Gentry drops an out. Who's been a member for seventeen months? Wow, Isaac! Thank you so much for that. He says happy birthday, Boom! Thank you for all of the positivity you bring to the community. Well, it's my pleasure to do so, and I wouldn't have it any other way. And believe it or not, folks, like I said, I don't. I talk. I I love talking about my my history because I'm as clear as glass. This what you see here, folks. Honestly. It's how I was in uniform. Honestly, everyone that came across me had something nice to say. They used to call me officer friendly for a reason. And I think that's how law enforcement needs to be. That's how I was raised to be. And I had an amazing 21 year career. And now I get a chance to, uh, you know, chat it up with so many people on a regular basis, five days a week basis. I, I, I'm incredibly thrilled and grateful to be have uh given this opportunity so thank you to everyone chaos theory good friend of the wow 35 months a uh, channel member thank you so much for that brother he says happy friday everyone indeed we also have wolverine who's a new member uh drops an outstanding five dollar super chat and says good morning everyone happy birthday boom hope all is well indeed it is and chaosante my brother um, check your DMs if you want to pop in here for a hot minute <laughs> and drop your bars, so to speak. He says, he drops a $5. He says, happy birthday to Mr. Boomstick. You're going to make it to 90 for sure. Bro. <laughs> yes, I, I would love to live past 90. I don't know. I, can, can I make that happen? We'll see. He says, um, how uh, we're playing the next Elder Scrolls. Yeah, I, I, I would love that. That would be, yeah, because that's how old I'm going to be when ne the next Elder Scrolls comes out. But, okay. Hey, Boom. Yes, sir. Boom. I just want just wanted to say uh, also uh, in the chat, uh, obviously, Kaysante, a panel member, uh, uh, Newf Newcomb is is in the uh, chat today. You got oh, nice, uh, nice. you got some you got some Welcome. you got um, um, you got um, oh my gosh, um, <sighs> Infinite Umbra is in the chat today. You got Steel yeah, Rain. Check, check your chat. DM, brother. If you want to jump in and jump out, brother, check, everyone check their DM that 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 works for me on a regular basis. Uh, we you will, got a uh, lot of great uh, people who who, yes. who all love you are, are, yes. are there celebrating your birthday today. And uh, and then some day. more Thank gifting you. is going on as well too. Just popped up. If you want to check that, uh, yeah. Let me just let me just grab that one. That one comes away yeah. of all, uh, acute perspective. Has been a member for one year. Gifted one double bow gaming membership. Thank you so much for that as well. That is very very kind of you. But folks, listen, we 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 got to get into the the nitty gritty. You, you, you as much as I appreciate everyone celebrating my birthday and everybody's gonna win prizes. And I'm gonna let the picker. Like I said, we're gonna be we putting the names into the picker and momentarily for the second. Uh, group of uh, prize winners we got to get into what we're here for folks and that's to talk about sony that's to talk about Satya and the dollar and microsoft and you know, the question is how did we get here right we know what phil said originally we know what jim said and we went back and forth right and now you know the gauntlet has been dropped by Satya and the dollar ceo of microsoft but how ladies and gentlemen did we get here? Well, Sony has put themselves in the corner. Sony has put the, 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 the spotlight on themselves, has put the, the uh, bullseye on their back. And how they got there is charging $70 for games, $10 up for upgrade fees for games from PlayStation 4 to PlayStation 5, crossplay tax. For developer and, and publishers, instead of just allowing crossplay, no. If you want to play crossplay on Sony, you got to pay extra money. How about a blocking fee? We've heard about thanks to the Brazilian uh, regu regula the regulatory bodies. They're actually paying people to keep games out of the ecosystem of Xbox, more so off of Game Pass. I, I call that anti-consumer. Sure, anti-competitive. Absolutely, right. Uh, well, their PlayStation Plus membership, uh, $3 more than Xbox Game Pass, and a story that we're not talking about today that just broke from Paul Tassi of Forbes. PlayStation's Yoshida says, PlayStation Plus should be for old games, not new game releases. Wow. Like, okay, if Why you say so. Why are you so, charging $18 then, for the love of God? Well, there you go, and, and and of course we have to go back, and I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna pull the receipts, folks. Jim Ryan clearly said we 
meaning his community, they don't play old games. We don't play old games. Well, there you go. So uh, Sony also, you know, let, let, let's keep it going. What, what else have they been doing? Well, they just raised the price of the PlayStation 5 50 bucks. And in Japan, well, clearly the Xbox Series S is outselling it two to one. That's a problem, right? Now, here in the, in, in the States, you can't find a PlayStation 5 without a bundle. So that's how they get you. And, and of course, now we're hearing the numbers for Horizon Forbidden West. Oh, they're going through the roof. The fourth best selling PlayStation game this year. And they're making, come on. They're including that as a bundle. That's not really people are just buying the console. You're throwing it in there. You you can you can you can do all the smoke and mirrors you want. I know I know the truth. But let's talk about something else that was recently brought up that pissed me off because I'm a PlayStation VR supporter. No backwards compatibility with PlayStation VR 2.0. So my 30 games, I have 30 games, as well as right back there. PlayStation VR, the second iteration of it, because I bought both, the first one and then the upgrade one for HDR pass-through. So I'm in the bag for over $1,000. And pl that's not including games. I got 30 games. I got 15 games digitally, 15 games physically. And you know what Sony said to me? Ugats. That's what I got. And that's, that's, that, that's, you know, that's so Sony. So why we're here today is because Satya Nadala dropped... The gauntlet, ladies and gentlemen, and he did something that you don't normally see CEOs in his position go out and do. Did an interview, and it's what he said in that interview that took the interwebs by storm. But it's not even what he said, folks. It's how he said it. I encourage anyone that wants to see a confident businessman sit back and answer a bunch of questions with a smile and a smirk that he knows something that we don't and that, that this deal is going to get done. And this is what this is. Again, I, I, I transcribed the entire interview. I took out what I thought was important to the conversation. I'm going to read it for you. And then I'm going to get the panel's opinion on this. And he, this is, comes directly from Satya Nadala, CEO of Microsoft. He says this, folks. For us in gaming, we have one goal, which is to bring more games to more gamers on all platforms and provide more choice for publishers everywhere and developers everywhere. So with everything we are doing we, uh, with our content, well, with cloud and community, is really about driving that choice and that community. Of course, any acquisition of this size will go through scrutiny, but we feel very, very confident that we will come out ahead. Microsoft is either number four or number five competitor in the video game industry, depending on how you count. And the number one player, and this is where he throws Sony right under the bus, folks, Sony Group Corp has made several recent acquisitions so if there is if this is about competition let us have competition now if you're wondering where microsoft falls they are number 4 in the gaming industry and who is ahead of them well number 1 is sony number 2 is tencent number 3 is apple Coming in at number four is Microsoft. So I personally find it very hard to believe that any regulator whatsoever, I don't care what country you're from, I don't care what region you're from, I don't care your education, this is simple mathematics with billions of dollars. The number four company is making acquisitions to what to do what, ladies and gentlemen, drive competition that is what the that that's it's it's, it's um, the, the definition of competition is right there for you to understand sony has made this about call of duty and microsoft has said we are not taking call of duty away we offered a three-year extension on top of the three years you have left and sony says that wasn't enough that they were concerned for the market 
they were concerned for gamers. Well, all the shit that I just read that they're doing to the gamers like me who support Sony, do they really care about us? The answer is no, they do not. They have done everything to nickel and dime the fan base to death on everything that they do, whereas Microsoft is about to launch a family plan that gives you, me, and everyone that's a part of it the ability to say, hey, four buddies, hey, four family members, hey, four friends, let's all put five bucks in, spend $25 a month, and we all can get a Game Pass Ultimate that gives us a plethora of games and many ways to play it. Sony's not doing that. We just heard a new report saying that, well, PlayStation Plus is for old games. It's not for new games. That comes from the head. That comes from Yoshida. That's one of the top dudes in Sony. So what does that tell you? Are day and day coming? Are, what, 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 about, uh, what, what, what about if you own it on the PlayStation? Can you play on your PC? No, you got to pay for that separately. Not on Xbox. Folks, I think, I think the writing is on the wall here. What Satya said, the way he said it, and everything up going up against uh, Sony for all of their anti-consumer, anti-market uh, uh, shenanigans, where they have literally positioned themselves to be the number one uh, competitor for over a decade, is afraid that they're going to lose that position. They don't know what a Sony looks like in third place. And that is essentially where they're going to go once this deal is done. And, and you know what? What is that going to do? Well, that's going to force Sony and drive competition. They're going to have to make moves. They're going to have to change ideologies. They're going to have to do things differently. Now, whether they choose to do that whether or whether they, stay, they want to continue to stay traditional, which is the way they're doing things now, well, that's entirely up to them. But Microsoft sees the world differently, and I could not be more happier as a fan, as a consumer, and as a content creator to be a part of this journey that we're seeing right now, I want to start first with Crispy Bomb. Crispy, by all means, go bonkers on this. What are your thoughts of everything Satya Nadala had to say during that interview yesterday? <laughs> oh, man. Um, you know, Satya is one of those people that you don't hear a lot from right. when he speaks. You, you kind of like read into it, but I, I'm more of a body language type person. And generally, <laughs> His body language was pretty hilarious, dude. Generally, CEOs don't smile unless they know mm -hmm. something that's going to be good for the investor. <laughs> that's right. Let's be honest. Okay. So, you know, and, and he, you know, no, nobody called it out, but he, he kind of like he, he was going to say subscription and he kind of caught himself and he kind of sat there for a second. He's like, oh, OK, I'm not I'm not going to go that route, even though, you know, because that's a talking point right now. I, I think he kind of caught himself, which, you know, everybody's human. Everybody screws up, makes mistakes, whatever. So you look at his overall and and the point is, is that, you know, we're talking about competition at least from the regulators, that's what they're saying. And how can you argue with the fact that, you know, even Apple is above Microsoft? Think about that. Apple. I mean, come on. So I, I just, I'm at the point where I, I look at this and I say, okay, I'm an Xbox owner. I own a Series X. I have multiple One Xs in the house. I can play all the games, whether using some cloud sometimes or whatnot through any of the xboxes they don't run the same that's fine but you're not charging me anymore you are you are charging me for a subscription service that i expect these things from and it's like telling me that you know netflix you you, you have to pay more because we have the 4k version even though i'm paying for the 4k you know of you know, Orange is a New Black or Cyberpunk Edge Runners. I mean, you know, it's it's like, dude, I don't have to do that. I, I want the 4K version. I've already paid for it. I get extra people involved. Like, everybody was crying about Netflix being like, oh, well, we're going to take away, you know, people that are using your account. Well, they actually have had tears for multiple years, people. 
if you didn't know like if you get the 4k version you can share with up to four people it says it right on there like i they, they literally plain as day said it so i said well i get 4k on certain things but i also get the share with four other people they've been doing this for like five years now like they up their price but i mean i see the value in it because i get to help other people out just like they give me their hulu or something like that like we share stuff you know what i mean and and you know you pay more in certain aspects and you don't but when you're upping the price and you're saying all you get is old games like playstation just said which just came out today which is quite hilarious because it's like dude i mean i thought you guys didn't play old games I, seriously i mean and and i'm gonna go and i'm gonna dig deep into twitter right now because fortunately for me Pull the I don't receipts block. brother do what you I, do I don't, best <laughs> i don't i don't block everyone that has a different opinion than me as long as they're respectful i'll leave them there but i also look at it and i say so you wanted them to compete because many of these people we're defending themselves because they said they wanted Xbox to compete, but now they're saying they didn't want them to compete like this. Well, you're talking about games now because that's what they did. They said, they said, I want them to compete with great games. Well, last year they were publisher of the year. So explain that to me. Explain to me that they're not coming out with game games. Also, we are slated for at minimum three games next year and supposedly in the first two quarters of next year. On top of that, what's going to come out at the end of the year? All right. So I have all the receipts for y'all. And when you are all talking trash and saying all this stupid BS, well, guess what? Sony's been buying more studios than anybody else right now. Okay. Yep. They bought Bungie and, and right after, like what, maybe less than a month later, they announced that they're going to come out with 10 games as a service. Do you know why? Because they've been sitting there saying single player is all we need. And you know what? Microsoft's been saying multiplayer is all we need. Now, when Hellblade 2 comes out, y'all going to be sitting there in your chair if you're an honest gamer and saying, what did I just play? Did I just play the greatest game I've ever played? Because I truly believe that after just seeing that snippet, that they showed, I said, these guys are on another level. And that's where you go and say, organic growth and all this bull crap. Well, you know what? If Activision, Blizzard, and all these games actually become better because Microsoft throws the money at them and says, make the game the way you want to, take the time you need. We have other things that will come out. Okay? And they actually do that. I mean, what, what could Call of Duty actually become? You know what I mean? What 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 other games that are sitting there that have been stagnant because the every you know nine devs sitting there working on Call of Duty and they take a year off and these these developers can actually do stuff that is different than Call of Duty because I mean I would get tired of doing the same thing over and over again unless you're absolutely like if I was going to work on Gears yeah sure but that you got to ask people if they want to do that, you don't, you don't just sit there and force them to do it because then they're just going to be like, ah, screw it. I, I don't even care. You know what I mean? Eventually you're going to get to that point. So how is this hurting competition or anything? All it's doing is making the competition better. And you know what? You're going to get better games from it. Cause I'm sorry when the CEO comes out and is backing your gaming division, which is a, a you know, has become bigger, but was still the small minority of the entire company you go and say wow like he's not playing and when he's not playing the whole company's not playing people so think about it all right this is this is what everybody all these shills y'all been asking for this well now you got it and now you're you're acting like oh oh they, they got to come out with great games they have already they were published of the year last year so this year hey we've all called it out have we not boom they sucked this year Okay, Jeez. you suck, and, 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 and we and we called you, them to the carpet. Dropped the ball, we, yeah, drop the damn ball. Okay, but I expect greatness next year. We'll, we'll go to PlayStation mantra: greatness. I expect greatness next year. I expect Starfield to smash records. That's what I expect. And if it doesn't happen, 
yeah, I'm going to call them out because you know what? I'm a damn gamer. And if that game comes out like shit after you freaking delayed it, well, guess what? I'm going to call you out on it. So we'll see until then. But I, I got all those receipts for next year. And I, I'll see you then. <laughs> I, real quick, I, I was laughing because Suicide King said, boom, can an adult dating <laughs> well, bot win? The answer is no, they can freaking not. Okay? So thank you, thank you for that. Um, listen, folks. Oh, man. I know. Sh- shame. Uh, the next five winners, folks. And again, this is this is Mrs. Boom puts, the, puts them in the picker. Picker picks them. Uh, some new faces here, which is great. These are your next five winners. Reach out to me through uh, DM on Twitter is preferably that's it. Go to the about page of the channel. There is an email there. Uh, I will have to confirm a couple of things because anyone can email us. And we don't want to be scammed. The last thing we want to do is be scammed. Um, uh, East Texas Alex, uh, CR Wimpy, uh, Super Duper Man, Joe Dunmore, and Cami28. You are all winners of a $50 gift card to your choice, Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo. If you have, if you don't do DMs, uh, you can email me uh, or you can message me over. Uh, thank you very much for that, Dave. Uh, <laughs> you, can e- you, you can message me on Xbox Live, but preferably uh, it would be great if we can hear from you on uh, through DM. But ladies and gentlemen, Let's continue this incredible co- uh, conversation. Crazy Lou, I want to go to you first on this, brother. Uh, this, you know, when you look at what Sony has done to their gamers and what they continue to do, again, I, I've been fighting with people uh, say, oh, well, you know what, boom, they're, they're, there's been other consoles where they raised the price. Shut up. No, they haven't. What they have done is unprecedented. And they did it during a recession, folks. Everything is... You know, here's a perfect example. I, I like bottled water. Well, I don't drink tap water. I'm not full of shit or anything, but I, I like bottled water. I like Poland Spring. Now, back in the days, Poland Spring would be th- in New York, three for like ten bucks, right? And you're like, okay, that's pretty. That's three cases for ten bucks. That's pretty good. You pay the, you know, your five cents on each one, and, and it is what it is. They're selling three cases for fourteen dollars here in New Rochelle. Like, that's with that's without the deposit, folks. That's freaking bonkers. Everywhere you go, the prices has increased just for everyday living. And that's a confirmed fact. And Sony, who is tone deaf or arrogant or however you want to put it out there, they have done things to nickel and dime every consumer, rake us over the coals. And the, I, think, I think the ultimate sin is the $50 increase. When you look at that and you look at what Microsoft is doing and you hear the CEO of Microsoft, get out there and be like, you know, if you want competition, let there be competition. What, 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 what were your thoughts when he when you read that? Oh man, I mean, I, I, I started shaking. I said, no, 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 this can't be true. This can't be true. When the CEO goes out there and just flat out says it, if you guys want competition, let's give you competition. I mean, literally, I have never like. It's like. It's just there's no words like I can how I can express that happen. I mean, it's, it's insane that a CEO goes out and says that. Wow, freaking amazing! He comes out and 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 tells everybody, "Hey, we're gonna compete," and that's what he's practically saying. We're gonna compete, and we're gonna compete really hard. And the whole fact about what Sony is doing and what they've been doing to the consumers is really wrong. I mean, literally, it shows you they are in trouble. And they're going to keep getting in trouble because, hey, instead of, like I said before, sitting down, having a normal conversation with Phil Spencer and talking things on how can I get Call of Duty here on, on PlayStation and all that stuff, you know, it's basically that, that's what you have to do from the beginning. Instead of going out there in public, shouting it out, and this is what you're going to get. You're going to get a CEO from a company that right now is 100% supporting gaming, right? Literally, they, he is focused on that. I mean, he literally just spent, for Microsoft, $70 billion to acquire Activision Blizzard. And you literally just pushed him to come out and say this. Wow. I mean, you guys, I don't know what you're going to do. Because seriously, Sony, you got a CEO after you right now. 
and I'm a CEO, not this like, oh, this is a CEO from this guy. No, no, no. This is a CEO that handles trillions and trillions of dollars. Not billions. I'm talking about trillions, like Dr. Evil says, you know. But damn, I will be scared. I will be really scared if I was Sony right now. And Sony needs to change its ways and gets its consumers, you know, happy to where they are. Because, yes, boom, I agree with you. Be mad. I mean... With the VR situation, that, that it's not you're not going to have backwards compatibility. You said I have a thousand dollars invested in this right now. I would have been pissed too. I would have been like, damn, I, I won't be able to go back to play my games. And that's that's just bad. And when an Xbox gives you that option, like, hey man, you can play your old games, you can play this, you can play that. That is awesome. That is fantastic. And they keep on doing that, and they keep on bringing that to the table. And I just can't wait to see what's going to keep on happening because hey, this is just. The beginning of something interesting that's going to happen for us consumers. Us consumers are going to be really happy at the end of the day. Because I said this before. Sony, you're worried about Call of Duty, but I will worry more about third parties and second parties and all that stuff. Be worried about that. Because if, for example, what happens if Microsoft says, hey, let's get Gotham Knights and drop in Game Pass Day 1. That would be an insane Game Pass thing for, for this winter. What happens if Microsoft gets Sonic, for, for example, that people are actually really happy with the, the Sonic Frontiers game and drop it in Game Pass Day 1? That's something I would be scared about instead of worrying about Call of Duty. Because, again, if this goes through, okay, it's going to go through either way, no matter what. Because look at Nadella. He was sitting there confident, and he smiled. After he said, let us compete. Oh, man. I saw that smile. That's like, nope. smart. <laughs> That's smart. Yeah. It's hilarious. Oh, I, yes. look, I mean, shout out to KK Dave yes. in the chat. He says, PlayStation have enjoyed dominance for too long, and they got too comfortable. And I absolutely agree. I think that they, they, they allowed their dominance to, 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 to literally, you know, poke and prod the sleeping giant, which was Microsoft. And... Yes, they they have enjoyed quite a bit of first placeism, if you will. Uh, yep. They they have, you know, we've seen all the way back to the PlayStation Three when they outpaced the 360 at the back end of the generation. All PlayStation Four so far on PlayStation Five's, uh, you know, two years out there, they're 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 number one. They're make they're they're in first place. And and, and like I said, I, I I find it hilarious that they are only you know solar focused on call of duty when this thing it's like i said the studios that are going to be coming to xgs when this deal is done is mind-blowing because there again we haven't talked about it specifically and we won't get into it too much here but every one of these studios that are currently working on call of duty uh modern warfare 2 there's eight studios at work now, they are all amazing, talented studios in their own rights with their own IPs and their own ideologies that they're going to be bringing to X Xbox gamers. But the thing that no one talks about is they have learned to be a support studio. And it wouldn't surprise me in the least if you saw some of these studios maybe give 343 a hand with Halo. Maybe they give uh, you know the Coalition a hand with Gears. Maybe they give another studio uh, on another first-person shooter. Uh, like, for instance, uh, Infinity Ward is working on a space RPG first FPS game, right? It's a new IP. It's going to be Xbox exclusive. Maybe they get help from other people like Treyarch, right? right? I mean, right. it's, it's, it's what, 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 has, what has transpired here, Lou, is yeah. Microsoft, they don't, this was a very strategic interview this wasn't done out of the blue this was done on purpose to let people know that there is no issues with this deal and there shouldn't be by all rights considering what sony has done and you mentioned something really good i mean you were talking about they're going to help other people like matt booty the other day said that um single studio triple a games are, are long gone which is actually really good that's really good news i mean all these students are going to be helping each other at the end of the day, and they're gonna grab from their cloud, like 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 what's um oh, what's this game called? I forgot. Um, State of Decay Three. Oh yeah, on, the coalition's yeah. helping that, yeah. helping them with yeah. that. Could you imagine what that's gonna look like yeah. with the coalition's help? Oh my god. Yes. Oh man. Can can you imagine the team of Call of Duty going out there and helping the Halo team? Oh, oh man. Oof, we're gonna see some amazing things going and, out there. I mean, think about this for a second. Folks. Yes. 
I think about this. At some point, there's going to be a content drop for Halo, and you might actually see the Infinity Ward logo that helped make this. Treyarch helped make this game. Sledgehammer Games stepped in and helped. I just, I'm getting goosebumps, folks, because I think yep. it is is a lot to be excited about. And I, and I know that everyone's, well, oh, Call of Duty. I, I get it. Call of Duty is big. I'm buying the Call of Duty, and I actually, they got me. I'm spending, I'm spending 90 bucks because I'm enjoying the multiplayer beta so much, and I'm like, all right. I, don't, I haven't bought a full-on Call of Duty in, my God, years, because I just don't play online. And the old man still got it. I'm kind of having some fun. I'm, you know, I don't know. I, you know, listen, when you can score 1,200 points, 1,290 points in a single match, you're doing okay. And, 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 you know, that's fine. But listen, Lou, good stuff. Let's get to Web Dave on this. Dave, what happened yesterday <laughs> was amazing for a multitude of reasons. And I think what it should do for a lot of people that had concerns, uh, about this deal potentially being held up, you know, oh, they're going to be in court for years. There is no way that this doesn't get done only because, and again, I can't say that definitively, right? Things happen, you know, you know Microsoft, they lied on a document that could hold things up. But I, I, I don't think that the CEO of, of the, the big, one of the biggest trillion dollar companies in the world gets out there and says, no, we feel very, very confident if he didn't feel very, very confident. What are your thoughts more so on what he said, but the body language that he used, where he kind of is just sitting back and chilling. Like, he's just sitting back in the chair, and he's smiling. He's smirking. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It was... Oh, man. Uh, basically, it was like him looking at the camera, looking directly at Sony and their board members, saying, game on. Let's go. It's go time, Skippy. Play ball. Whatever <laughs> thing you want to say, it is, uh, it, it is time... You know, to let the big dogs eat. And um, they have got the money. They've got the resources. They've got the lawyers. He is so confident. And it showed, like you said, in his body language. And he, mm. he he's the CEO. He does not have to make any comments about this at all. In fact, most times, those kind of things get set back, you know, and it's all, it's all like, you know, we'll let the underlings take care of things. Because they want to be above it all, right. he 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 knows that that they're trying to hurt the reputation. They're trying to you know, and that's why he made a point to saying you know, we're fourth or fifth. When you look at these numbers, why is that? Because Sony is oh, we're, you know, Microsoft is a big bad. Microsoft is so bad, no terrible. I mean, come on, dude, right. Jim Ryan. What what? I mean, we all see what you're doing. I mean, your Sony guys are, you know, right there with you. Oh, look what Jim said. Jim said we're in trouble. This is terrible. This is going to be bad for gaming. No, it's not. It's only going to be bad for Sony. And even then, Microsoft has said, hey, we're going to be right there with you. We're going to be, we're going to support this for an additional three years after the deal. They didn't have to do that. They, they basically have already made a concession that wasn't even required at all. That they, this deal could have, I mean, there's no stopping this deal. I don't, I, the, there are still people that are like, you know, well, maybe this or maybe this deal is as good as done. There's going to be that you got to dot all the I's, you got to, you know, sign all the paperwork, you got to get everything done, you got to go through all the processes. But at the end of the day, this deal is done already. Microsoft is already thinking about the next big deal, they're already plotting. The next one, and and for Satya to come out and say that, you know his confidence, he is absolutely balls of steel. Sorry about that, but on this one because you know, right, right. he knows exactly what he's doing. And I, I, if, is there going to be a rebuttal from Sony? I don't know. They they should probably keep their mouth shut because they're going to be, you know, and and to my to my goodwill with their no. The, the goodwill is gone, and they did it to themselves. They are in a position where, you know, I mean, people can sit back and say, you know, well, they've got these great games coming out this year, and Microsoft doesn't have any number one games. Wait till next year. <laughs> Wait till next year when it's probably almost reversed as to what's going to happen. Do you know of any big games coming out next year 
from Sony that they've announced? Well, so, so, Sony, Sony is a conundrum, to be honest with you. And, mm-hmm. I, and I think you're going to see what you what you talked about as a roles reversal, right, Dave? You know, this year, not so great for Xbox. You know, they have a couple of games. Deathloop is amazing. Please play it because uh, it is fantastic. And it looks really good. Actually runs better on the Series X, which is really not surprising. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, obviously, Pentiment. You know, for a lot of people, that game is not going to hit. And and but but Josh Shoy, Sawyer is a great storyteller. So who knows, right? Right. They don't. But 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 here's the thing: they have so much coming into Xbox Game Pass at second and third party yep. that it's bonkers, right? So that, yep. so okay, they they're light. Sony knocked it out of the park this year. Four bangers. Now some of them didn't hit like they wanted to, but they're still four first party games. You can't argue. That they they dropped four games this year. Next year they have Spider Man two, and I listen. Spider Man two is going to be amazing. No pun intended. I can't wait to play it. And I think that's it. And if Factions two is supposed to release. I still kind of I'm a little sketchy about that one. Final Fantasy sixteen is it's an exclusive, but it's not Sony, and I don't know if that hits. Um, you know, For Spoken, I think is going to hit. I, I'm getting more interested in that game. I be forced to buy that because that's coming out for two years. So to your point, Dave, I think they're in a bit of they, they might be in a bit of a pickle, to be honest mm-hmm. with you. Uh yeah. And I've been canning pickles, so I know what's up. Just kidding. <laughs> but uh <laughs> I'm telling you, man, they they, they uh oh I Mill is reporting Sony stocks down to under uh, 70 bucks, 6839. Oh, yikes. Uh, that. Well maybe time. Microsoft can go on in and swoop on in and buy them. <laughs> Now's oh, the time to start oh, buying some stock. Oh. That would oh be, shoot! Oh, but you know, and, oh, and here's here's one. I, I, I'm going to play this little this little clip, it, which we played before. It's very short, but from uh, from Phil Spencer, and it, it if you listen to his when he talks about Game Pass, he has that confident little laugh when he says this, and it's the same thing that you got f- from, uh, from Satya, from yeah. Satya. That that same freaking confidence. This is about delivering great exclusive games for you that ship on platforms where game pass exists there it is <laughs> and it's like the, the little laugh says a lot <laughs> it does it does game pass is it. the key to all this i mean everybody's like you know well it's just everybody sony fanboys and, and, and sony people are welcome here too i have a sony we all I think all of us here on the panel have have all the products including nintendo or whatever it's just that sony's been getting away with this marketing and 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 the way they've been doing things for so long, yep. You know, and and they and it's complete arrogance that they're like, you know, well, you know, they it's going to be our way or the highway. That's why they have those 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 deals where they make them sign like, you know, well, you can't bring it to Game Pass if you want to be on our platform. What kind of garbage is that? Yeah, That's no, because I, they're scared. I, I agree. I agree. Game Pass is going to be the game changer. Game Pass, and because it's availability, we were talking about earlier those those numbers with systems and stuff in Japan. Yes, that's awesome that they're growing, and they will I think will continue to grow. But the key is the growth of Game Pass because they'll be able to play on their TVs, their phones, their computers, whatever they want through streaming, and that is going to be a big difference, a big game changer in Japan and all over the world. And with Microsoft, they're going to get someday to that three million. Oh, excuse me, three billion. Oh man, game on, baby, game on. Absolutely. Shout out to Fonz in the chat. Fonz, what's going Fonz. on, brother? Love the work that you're doing. Uh, big fan of the uh, of the questions. And uh, I was I was uh, I was uh, gassing uh, K Asante where I was like, well, how many questions did you get wrong? And he got all five right. Unlike me, I, I think I got one. I think I got one. I think I got one wrong, which isn't so bad. Fonz, what's going on, brother? Uh, thank you. Go check out Fonz. If you don't know who he is, man, just check out RDX with Dealer and the Gang. Fonz Gaming. And, uh, yes, Fonz Gaming. Please check him out. He's uh, doing some great work there. Fuzzy, let's <laughs> get your opinion on this. I mean, <laughs> you laugh when you're confident. That that I think that's oh, a yeah. trigger for you. <laughs> and, and, and and you and I love that about you. Well, we saw the same thing happen to Satya Nadala. I mean, li- literally, he's as big as Doom God was in secret wars right like emperor doom god that saved everyone well here's satya nadala he's up there he's sitting there he's confident he's sitting back his his shoulders are postured he's laughing does he know something that we don't know 
I, I think he knows that uh, uh, the gym knows he effed up, basically. It's like you almost hear that that meme in the background. It's like, and this is when he knew he effed up type of thing going on. But, but <laughs> yeah, in his mouth, it. he, he, he. It's, it's just one of those things where he, he poked the bear one too many times, and now he got the big dog over at Microsoft involved. It's like yep. you should have kept it quiet. It's like what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. So the back and forth between him and Phil with the DMs, it should have stayed there. Yes, they talked about, oh, yeah, we, we had a nice conversation. You know, Phil put that out there. But it's it wasn't like he put all the details out there. But Jim, he was like, no, no, no. I got to let the world know. And I, I think now he realized he put a foot his own foot in his mouth type of deal because they probably had or stood a better chance of negotiating what they want for their PlayStation players or their, their fan base then than they do now when you go public like this and it's like oh it's an in inadequate deal for three years well now microsoft is going to be like well then if you don't want three years then it's nothing and they'll probably be able to get away with it be more so than before where it was like oh we assume there's going to be concessions and blah 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 but it's like well if they already refuse a, an above uh, approach type of deal from us behind the scenes and and they feel that they're owed more yet they're doing these same things in the background where they still have the marketing deal where they have exclusive content on their platform or they have games that are still locked behind a one or two year wall paywall where it's going to be on their platform for that amount of time before it even comes to ours well then why should we even offer them anything and it's like well nintendo didn't have call of duty so it was doing well on its own so how about they have to do what like Nintendo had to do and do without type of deal. And and we'll try, you know, putting it on, on the switch or whatever, and hopefully new better or, or more powerful hardware they come up with later, unless it's going to be like a streaming type of thing. I, I, I just think that the confidence shows that it's like, all right, we, we were playing nice behind the scenes. You didn't like that. So now we're, we're going to go toe to toe in, in the sense that, well, we're only going to offer you, what we're probably forced to offer you. And at this point, we're going to put all the business out there. Because remember, we ha we have copies of the contracts that you made with Bethesda for, you know, Deathloop as well as Ghostwire Tokyo. We already know talking to some of the third parties out there that of which none of them have a problem with this, this you know, acquisition. How you guys, you know, purposely now have things in your contract stating that it can't be on Game Pass or it can't be on a competing streaming service for X amount of, you know, months or even years for that matter. So we're going to put all that out there for these regulators to see what you guys have been doing for these these years. And let's see what they say from there. You know, it, it, it it's funny in the sense that, you know. They thought that they were going to bend the ears of, of these regulators, which they did for a bit. You know, they, they kind of bamboozled them for, for the first round to at least get them into that extra scrutiny. And now that extra scrutiny is going to open up all the books and they're going to see all the deals that, you know, they've kind of been doing behind the scenes. All the while still acquiring studios, all the while still, you know, making it difficult for other uh, entities in this this space to compete on their same level because if you already have the exclusive rights on these third parties or or content for these third parties then you know the only other thing is for those third parties to either acquire those those <laughs> developers or you know beat you to the punch but if you already you know spent your wad on that stuff it, it it's going to be a tough road but i think it's going to be even tougher road for sony now i mean stock prices are down Satya coming out against them in, in a sense as far as for the competition aspect is, is probably a bit of a driving factor for it. Yeah, I know Microsoft shares are down slightly, but in, in the grand scheme of things, you can lose more dollars on a Microsoft share considering it was worth three or four times the, the value at, at, at Sony's highest point. But um, yeah, it's it's just funny to see how this all plays out. And I I almost want Jim to say something more stupid uh, as, as far as <laughs> another public statement, just to see how it plays out, because I, I, I think if we don't see anything more from Jim, I think the message was delivered over at Sony Corp. At, at, at that point, they'll probably be like, all right, we're just going to, you know, sit at these regulatory meetings and see what we can get out of it and just keep our mouths shut. And hopefully we didn't 
you know, poke the bear a little too much type of deal. But if he opens up his mouth, I'm, I'm curious to see if, you know, Microsoft opens up a bit of the wallet and starts making it so things are even tougher for uh, Sony oh, yeah. as far as these third parties. So, hey, Fuzzy. Well, I mean, listen, it, 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 I'll let you speak in a second, Dave. I, I think you're onto something. And I, I, I think that this is... Uh, if you uh, if you grew up in a, in a Spanish culture like I did, the this is where you get the pow pow. And, and uh, <laughs> anyone that's Hispanic knows exactly what I'm talking about. Especially when mom used to take the chancleta, the chancleta. and fling it around like she was like uh, like the million dollar uh, person because she wouldn't miss. She never <laughs> missed with those freaking things. It's like she mm-hmm. literally went to school and trained to hit you with the chancleta across the room. I know. <laughs> I got hit with it, folks. Um, Same here. Uh, yeah, and there you go. So yep. I mean, uh, I I think that this is where uh, Sony gets the pow pow for being an arrogant shit. And you know what? Well, that's too bad. You know, you shouldn't have come forward, and you shouldn't have said what you said, and you thought that you crying like this was somehow going to you know uh, get one regulated. Like, oh yeah, you know, this is not good. Listen, the CMA did some stupid things for themselves. They put out these tweets with block emojis and and stuff yep. like that. They real they hung themselves out to dry, and the, and Microsoft's lawyers are going to eat this up for breakfast. Um, the way that they talked in the first grouping, where they you know it, they they were protecting Sony's interest. We they said in the documents, and I read it live on the air for you that their concern for Sony's number one marketplace like you're not supposed to be concerned about a company you're supposed to be concerned about competition and 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 sony is number one microsoft is number four in some cases number five like satya said if so if this is about competition let there be competition but dave you want to add anything to that i was just guess uh, fuzzy talked about the um you know the money and the stuff of, for this and their stocks going up and down kind of thing that Remember, this deal is a cash deal. Mm-hmm. This is cash. There is no stocks involved at all. And Microsoft still has a huge, I think it's like $90 billion in cash mm-hmm. to spend after this deal. So <laughs> um, just, you know, holy shit, man. This is good. This game on, baby. Game on. Fuzzy, great points, buddy. Thank you, thank you. No, but good it, stuff it, as always. The the cool thing about the the whole cash deal, like when they made the announcement that they were going to purchase uh, Activision Blizzard for about just under seventy billion, they've already made that back within what was it one quarter shortly after. Yeah. So they've all made they've already made the money before they've even spent it back. Oh, and they, like you said, they had that ninety billion additional that they've been sitting on and really ain't anxious to buy something and and you know get the value out of that money before I guess the uh, was it inflation hits it a bit harder i, I absolutely agree and and dreadpool let, let's get your, your your opinion on this brother this is again you know you you've been in the business of seeing companies come in and buy other companies you've talked about that live on the air multiple times uh seeing the ceo of microsoft come and do this interview which again we all understand that it was strategically done and he was specifically speaking to the CMA, which is based on the whole competition thing. Now, again, it's, it's a broad stroke for sure. He's talking to all regulators. Like, if you want competition, we'll let there be competition if we're number four. And they are number four. They're number four in, in the gaming world. That's a fact. Uh, they're not number one anywhere, to be honest. At, at this point, they're not number one anywhere, at least as far as I know. Um, so that's saying something. What are your thoughts of what Satya said yesterday? Well, it just backs up the chuckle that Phil had uh, with with the whole uh, slapping down the sausage. Here you go, Sony. How do you like them apples? But that's, you know, and that's that's the thing, right? He downplayed them that, that you know, he, as he's chuckling, right? He's, he's smiling away saying we're number four, possibly number five. You know, and, and you know, you, you got to think about that when you're when you're laughing like that, because you already know you already have everything. You have minded all your P's and Q's. You know, you dotted your t- your I's, you crossed your T's, you had everything there because you know if, and forgive me if I say the name wrong, Kinchiro Yoshida speaks up and says anything, you know, right? Turn for turn, right? Um, Phil and uh, Jim, and now... Uh, here we are with the CEOs of the, the, the owner companies. 
mm-hmm. speaking out. So if Yoshida, Mr. Yoshida speaks up and says anything, it's just you already know he's not going to. You know that it's, it, it, he just Satya just knows it. And it's like, all right, anybody else wants it? Because we got the money. We'll see you, too. Here's the thing, though. I think I think they will keep on keep speaking out on it, though, because uh, they just won't stop. And they, they kept need on to. And they need they to. Need, yeah. yeah, they need to. Just as much yeah. as Jim is crying about it, they need to let everybody know, look, we're nowhere near this. And yep. the best the best line mm-hmm. is, you want us to compete? Let us compete. Yeah, and, indeed. You know, and that's it. You know, they, he, you know, it's, it's, it's like, it's, it's like when you, you got the game out there and you got a guy that's, that's all nerdy and no one believes that he can play anything and they just push him aside, push him aside and finally let him play and realize how explosive this guy is at playing basketball because he just, he just fronted up like he was nothing. And this is what they're doing. They're like, okay, well, we're number four, maybe five. And just just smiling away like I got it in the bag here. You just don't know it. And they need to let it let it out there. They need it. They need to keep pushing it out there. As much as you know the negativity's coming out, and they don't they don't uh, acknowledge rumors or any of that stuff. This isn't a rumor. They're pushing it out there, and they're coming back and and giving their retort and saying you know laughing at it like go ahead, make my day, go ahead. But that's it, really. There's just there's not much more, man. It just makes you smile and laugh at this. It's just because this this whole this whole thing is stupid. And I understand how you say, um, you know that they need to say something and this and that. But the fact that the CMAs did make it public, um, it did. And yeah. then and then Boom. they call out Phil for making it public, and it's like, wait, wait a second, you're still pointing the finger. You're still pointing Boom. the finger. Yes, sir. I think we should make a telenovela out of this. Yeah, we were very, very much, you very much could. Yeah, or, or, at the minimum, a Korean drama, which me and uh, Josie are very, very addicted to. By the way, uh, don't yeah. fr- don't sleep on those Korean dramas on Netflix, folks. They're not giving us a dime for saying so, but me and Jose, and of course, Jose said is my wife. We we uh, we watch them all the time. We've we've gone through so many this 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 year. It's it, it's crazy. They're so good. But get, please continue, Dread. Oh, that, that's about it, really. It's just it's it, it's just so humorous that this even had to come out like this. And I understand, you know, you had to, due diligence has to happen, no matter yeah. you know, no matter whose side, you know, they have to say something. They have to, you know, because the, Sony has to invest and protect their investments, yeah. right? And if that's their investment, that's what they have to protect. I get it, no problem. No one really has an issue with that. You know, they have, you know, do you have an issue? Well, here's my issue. Da, 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 da. All right, cool. But once you put it out there public and then on top of that, you know, Phil's clarifying it and Jim's like throwing it out there. And yet again, here we are, um, you know, with now we have Microsoft CEO um, laughing away as he's talking about it. I mean, it's, it's you can't get more humorous than this. You know, it's yeah. just it's ridiculous, but it's it's funny. Um, it gives us something to talk about and it gives us insight of what's going on inside these companies too, which is, which is a learning experience. And that's what we should take out of this is the learning experience, um, of stuff that we don't see normally. And, and it's, it's, it's nice drama. It's, it's funny drama, but it's unnecessary at times. I agree. Do, do you know I... why, do you know why that Satya is laughing? Because literally the it's only the gaming company that is the leader of the gaming industry is talking competition. That's pretty funny. Yeah. Just but, saying. Uh, well, on top of that, being hypocritical on, you know, that, and that's the funny part, right? Yeah. Cause you know, we're number one, but you're going to affect all gamers by taking it away from us, but they're not taking it away from you. You just, you just don't have the, the, you haven't updated your strategy you know, Microsoft had to pivot many times to get to Indeed. this point. Yeah, they absolutely right? did. Yep. Xbox had to pivot also because of the, the what Microsoft was doing to them in the first place. I mean, we already know that Xbox was about to be sold off. We we already know that they were they were looking to be into the chopping blocks. I mean, look at what happened to Nokia. Look what happened. You know, with with so many other products that Microsoft has obtained and then just f- fell flat with. You know, and finally, you know, pivot, 
Now we got Phil Spencer here. Phil uh, pivots every which way, gets the most powerful console, gets this, gets that, you know, redefines console numbers into user engagement. Oh, and lo and behold, look who's, who's talking about uh, user engagement now to their stockholders, you know, but they're also, you know, still using the other clout of their number sales. And, you know, yet again, it's just, it's just hide the shell. Here we go. And they're getting called out by Satya again, laughingly. I absolutely agree. But listen, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm going to read out the remainder of the Super Chats. It's been quite a few of them, so please bear with me while I do that. I want to give everyone the pro proper, uh, you know, the shout-outs that they deserve. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Wolverine 3X uh, drops a very generous $2 Super Chat and says, who is playing the beta? And yes, I'm playing it. I know a lot of people are. It's really good. I'm, I'm quite enjoying it. Kasi 1300 drops a two-pound Super Chat and says, how many returns? Uh, oh, happy many returns for Sunday Boom. Well, thank you very much for that. Pragmatic Eagle, who's been a channel member for 37 months. Wow, dude. Thank you so much for that. The big bro to this gaming community. Uh, here's to at least another 50 more. We appreciate you and your work. Thank you. It's very kind of you to say, brother. Definitely want to say a big thank you. Massholes, 1977, who's been a channel member for one year as well. Uh, welcome to uh, well. Thank you so much for for, for that as well. Uh, Suicides King uh, Kings, I should say, with a Z, has been a channel member for two months and uh, actually for six months. It says Happy Birthday, Boom! Uh, my best wishes to you and the misses and even Mama Boom. Thank you so much for that. I hope she's doing better. Yeah, she's she's coming along. You just take it day by day. But thank you so much for that. Uh, we also have uh, Joe Dunmore drops an outstanding five dollars super chat and says, "I'm a civilian." But I would go to console war for Satya and the dollar. Indeed, uh, we also have uh, Ice Cold who gifted uh, five double barrel gaming memberships. Uh, thank you, wow, dude, that's very kind of you to uh, to do. Uh, Smuzz two forty six, who's been a member for one year, drops an outstanding ten dollars super chat and says, "Happy birthday! Another year of great content from one in a million content creator." Thank you, brother. That is very kind of you to say. Um, this community is so much better for having you in it. Wow, dude, that is really, really nice of you. Have a Dr. Pepper on me, indeed, or a ginger ale. That's those are the only two sodas I drink every now and again. Uh, Pixel Bit G is in the chat. He's been a channel member for one year, well, for almost the, oh, actually one year. Thank you so much for that. CR Wimpy, who won one of the fifty dollars gift cards, uh, says, "Give mine to another. Maybe give them. Yeah, you know, I, if you don't want it, uh, CR Wimpy, what I'll do." Is I will re-roll it and I'll reach out to uh, to the to, to the folks and uh, and do that as well because uh, giving it to other people I I I'm 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 a little weird about doing that. If you want to give it, then I'll send you the code and you can give it to whoever you want. For me, if you want me to do it, I'll just re-roll it and I'll pick another winner winner. So just let me know what you want to do. For Gators Blue drops a uh, uh, a two dollars super chat and says five hundred plus watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and yes. We actually broke 600. We had 608 people watching, which is bonkers. Uh, if you are new, please consider subscribing. We are a few subs away from hitting that 11.2K, and that's going to be big. Uh, so a lot of new sub, un, 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 subs today specifically. Hopefully you're enjoying the content where you, you hang around. Snooky Jackson. That's a very generous $5 super chat and says, Happy birthday, boom. I am your oldest subscriber, 70 Bent with you. Uh, uh, yeah, wow, dude. Well, that's awesome, Mr. Jackson. And also, thank you for the $5 super chat as well. He says, with you day one, have a blessed day indeed. Thank you. It's very kind of you, and we definitely appreciate it. Um, CR Wimpy drops an additional $5 super chat and says, the coalition doesn't need help because they are the gods of their division, and they are helping others as we speak. Yeah, that, that, I do agree with that. A uh, Highlander 001 drops a five dollars super chat and says, "Happy birthday, Mr. Boom! Hope your mom gets better soon. Thank you for that." Uh, I, said, I stream my Xbox to my Galaxy uh, uh, S8 Ultra using my Xbox controller. You're one of the best. Well, thank you very much for that. And Dan, the man Cunningham, Dan, what's going on, brother? Long time, no time. He drops a five dollars super chat and says, "Happy birthday, Boom! You old bastard! Indeed, I am. Hope your mom is doing better, my friend. Thank you." And uh, Web Dave, of course, says happy birthday uh, from the entire panel to me. Thank you very, uh, very much for that. Jesse DeBarrios drops a five dollar super chat and says, "If competition means Xbox can't acquire studios the way PlayStation has for over a decade, I say 
let PlayStation rot in the cold, indeed. And Elemental PO, who's been a channel member for seven months, says, uh, glad to hear your mom is doing better. Thank you so much for that. Ladies and gentlemen, listen, we've gone through the topics. Uh, and uh, obviously, I, I got to bounce out of here because I got to go take care of my mom, as you know. Uh, I do want to say a big thank you to the over 600 people that came and hung out. Let's get to the outros, and we will get everyone out of here. Start first with our special guest, Crazy Lou Gaming. Sell your brand, brother. Talk about the Xbox International Podcast, what you and your mates do over there. And more importantly, where can people see you singing in the shower on <laughs> social media? <laughs> you can find me at Twitter at Crazy Louis Gaming. And that's right. That's where I sing in the shower and say my good mornings to everybody. And also, you all can find me at my YouTube channel, Crazy Louie Gaming, where we do Xbox International every Wednesday at 7 p.m. with my brother Silent and Sour Blow talking about the gaming news that happens each and every single week. And boom, thank you so much for having me on this awesome breakfast today. Really appreciate it, brother. Yeah, well, thank you so much for joining us. Definitely appreciate that. Uh, and uh, like I said, uh, I just want to confirm uh, from CR Wimpy, just throw a quick message in there. If you want me to re-roll it, I will re-roll it, uh, and uh, I will announce the winner before we get on out of here. Uh, but thank you for being here. Uh, Dreadpool, sell your brand, brother, or do you want me to sell your brand for uh, for you? Throw up your screen. Let's get everyone to check out Breaking Bread with Dread. Yep, here we go. I'm going to bring him up on the screen right now. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, linktree.com slash Dreadpool, youtube.com slash Dreadpool, Twitter at Dreadpool, TikTok at Dreadpool, and hover.gg Dreadpool. Definitely check out his incredible show, Breaking Bread with Dread. And obviously, he's not only doing his own thing, but he's also a panel member on Wilmy Hood's Gaming Beyond the Box. That's Wednesday evenings at 8 p.m. Eastern Stand Standard Time. And, of course, he's a panel member here on Breakfast with Boom. Dread, thank you so much for being oh, here, brother. Thank and, you, guys. Uh, it's, it's been a pleasure, you know, it, always to, to hang out with you guys. And, and everybody in the chat, that's the main thing. Everybody in the chat, you guys rock. Indeed. And this, this is why Boom is doing what he does for you guys to, to pay it forward and pay it back, technically. So, um, yeah, happy belated birthday. Thank you, Crazy Lou, for coming in and hanging out with us. Again, thank you, Crispy. Um, did you ever leave? I'm not sure. <laughs> but um, uh, yeah, so uh, I, hmm. you, yeah, and that's the thing, right? The holidays are coming up. Just reach out to anybody. Um, I'm yes, sure indeed. Other, you know, indeed. Our, our DMs yeah. are open. As I say for myself, I may not know what to say, but at least I'll be an ear. I'll listen, and you know, you you can at least vent, and not no, you know, no judging or not, nothing like that. So, uh, but yes, I'm, uh, and I'm also streaming Halloween or not Halloween, but horror movie uh, games. Um, when I can hmm. in support of Halloween that's coming up and you know, we got more props and more stuff that we're building and slowly, but surely we're uh, putting stuff out there and I will get some recordings and show you guys what we have. So, but I'm dropping every day right now uh, up until the 27th until I get more content every day at 11 o'clock, I'm dropping a new short with uh, something Halloween. And right now it's, it's full of animatronics. So again, Thank you all. See you next week. Uh, thank you so much for that. At Crispy Bomb, sell your brand, brother. Where can people find you on other shows? And more importantly, potentially strike up a conversation on social media. Wasn't expected to be here, Dread, by the way. Um, <laughs> boom. Happy birthday, brother. And uh, I hope your mom's doing well. Um, you know, I know it, I've been through that. Thank so you, brother. Definitely it's, appreciate it's, that. It's never easy. At Crispy Bomb on Twitter, Crispy Bomb 28 Xbox Live. Find me at Retro Renegades Tuesday night, 7 p.m. We got Primetime Gaming Wednesday, 7 p.m. And the next podcast, 8 p.m. Thursdays. And apparently I just show up here when I want. So <laughs> we'll see you then. I love it. Well, listen, thank you so much for being here. Uh, Web Dave, sell your brand, brother. Talk about what you got going on with these interviews. This week you dropped a big one with the one, the only the sauciest gamer of sauciest gamers, uh, Gaz from Game On Daily. Talk about that interview. Where can people check out your incredible YouTube channel? But more importantly, reach out to you on social media. Thanks, Boom. Appreciate that, man. Um, <clears throat> love being here. Happy birthday to you. Um, uh, we all 
um, have a great um, admiration for you and everything that you do for us in this community. So thank you for that. Uh, also, uh, you can find me at outbreakpodcast.com. That's our website. You can find us here at Outbreak Podcast by just searching that in YouTube. Uh, boom, we'll have the link in the descriptions. He's usually pretty good about that as well. You just want to dig through that and click on it. <clears throat> um, Gaz is this week. Uh, plus, I got a lot of great interviews. Um, everybody that's on the panel on screen right now has interviews up that you can watch, and they are really good. And you can find out a lot of interesting things about a lot of these amazing um, people on the panel um, and, and many, many more. And more coming. I got the uh, interview this weekend. Um, with um one bad mother so so that's gonna that's be a a, that's yeah. gonna be a good one yeah yeah he's a he's a very fascinating uh very fascinating guy and uh so there we go so and and, and also i know you're gonna probably run through all the people that are uh, all the winners today look one more time for you get for you out of here and congratulations to everybody that won thank you everybody for being in the chat and for participating um more more prizes in the uh, next month he's got more stuff coming yep and then in, and then in December, oh my gosh, a thousand dollar giveaways. Yep. And all you gotta do is just be here. That's that's that simple, man. Boom. Thank you for everything you do. Appreciate You're a pillar it, in the community, Thank you for man. The compliments. Yes, we definitely appreciate you being here, Dave. Uh and uh I Fuzzy, did I get you? Oh, no, we got to get Fuzzy. Fuzzy, <laughs> sell your brand, brother. Talk about your incredible YouTube channel. You're on a lot of shows. I appreciate and, and very honored that you're on two of mine. Um where could people find you on other shows? But more importantly, where could people reach out to you on social media? And more importantly, subscribe to your YouTube channel. Well, thank you, Boom. And thank you for everyone that, that came out here today. Congrats to the winners. It was awesome being on here with these panel members and guests. But, you know, it's it's always great talking with you guys, whether it's on Twitter or on podcasts and whatnot. Um for those that want to hear my endless ramblings on anything gaming, just follow me on Twitter at fuzzy underscore Belvedere. YouTube is also fuzzy underscore Belvedere. Uh, you can also see me on the Xbox Ultimate Podcast Fun Speculations channel at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time later on tonight. Uh, the Shop Podcast on Saturday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on PTK Blam's channel with me, PTK, and Pong. And on Mondays, FSP at uh, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Although earlier on, uh, was it 12 on Mondays? It will be the new uh, yep. podcast with Boom and Web, me and Web Dave. So looking forward to that. And definitely check that out here on Double Barrel Gaming's channel on Mondays. And yeah, right back here on uh, Friday uh, mornings on 10 a.m. on uh, Double Barrel Gaming's channel for Breakfast with Boom with this uh, awesome panel. So always love doing this. Well, it's great to it's great to have you here, brother. Thank you so much for that. Uh, but listen, let's uh, we'll see our wimpy drops. Uh, uh, wow, an additional ten dollars super chat. Thank you for that. And uh, he also says re-roll it, please. And I have just done that. Leonard Herrera in the chat has won a fifty dollar gift card, courtesy of not only Cr Wimpy who passed his winnings on to you, but of course Double Barrel Gaming. A big shout out. A big shout out to you, brother. DM me, and we will get you where you want that card to be to. Uh, and of course, folks, a big shout out to all the birthday wishes. Thank you so much. All the super chats. Thank you very, very much. And of course, I'm going to close out today's show, folks, with something that's important to me. Hopefully, one day it'll be important to you. And that's something that my dad taught me with kids, and he would say, "Craig, treat others how you want to be treated." And also, it doesn't cost anything to be nice. You live by those rules, son. I can guarantee you. You're going to have an awesome day. So take care, everyone. We'll see you next week on the newest episode of Breakfast with